Hi and welcome to programme 14 in the series of programmes and tutorials which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you are not part of our email uh, mailing list then please go to markplex.com that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or release new programmes. So this program, Program 14, is designed to analyse a chart and to find out when the uh, t turning points, as defined by zigzag patterns, occurred most frequently. So you can see in this particular chart, which is a 15 minute pound dollar with about 12 months of data loaded, that it is telling me that the turning points most frequently occur at 1.15, 1.45, uh, 6.30, 7.15 and 10 o'clock and uh, the number of these uh, or rather how many of these lines we draw we draw is up to you it's a, a user input so I've set it to five here in other words the five that have occurred the most frequently uh, are drawn on the chart here and um, what I need to do now is just explain how this thing works so we are calculating a zigzag pattern based on pivot highs and pivot lows for the entire chart Every time a new uh, pivot point is found or zigzag uh, is confirmed, what we do is we take the time, such as this time here, which would be 1900, and we compare that with times already stored in the array. Now, if that time, if a turning point has already occurred or a zigzag pattern has already been confirmed at that time, then we increment a weighting for that time and we also replace the uh, date time signature for that point in the array. If a time has previously not been uh, found, or rather if a, if a zigzag pattern has previously not been confirmed at that time, then we add the time that it occurred and uh, the date uh, time signature into the array. Having done that, going back throughout the whole chart, we then at the end of the chart, go through and sort the array and then draw on the chart the ones that have occurred most frequently. Now if it happened that there were several that had the same weighting, then they are sorted by the, the date time signature. So let me just show you the, uh, the inputs to this program and uh, most of them are very straightforward. Okay, the number of lines to draw is five. Now, incidentally, if we were to leave this program running, it will always make sure that the top five are drawn, but it won't go back and delete ones that have been drawn previously. Uh, retrace percentage, this determines how the zigzag pattern looks. And I think one of the, the keys to this program is to adjust that percentage such that you feel you are capturing the most important turning points based on the zigzags for a particular uh, symbol and a particular time frame. Show zigzag simply determines whether we show the zigzag pattern, the color of the zigzag pattern, zigzag cull here we've got it set as light gray, and then the color of those vertical lines themselves which we've set as white. So um, this program is available for download for a, for a nominal fee. Uh, I think it uh, would be a useful program to, uh, to understand such things as how to draw zigzag patterns and also how to uh, use an array and uh, how to sort an array. It also includes a function which is a, a two-dimensional array sorter which I think is uh, is fairly simple to uh, understand but I think there is some useful material there. I have commented the program um, quite liberally so hopefully uh, you will be able to uh, if you do decide to download it you will be able to understand it and benefit from some of the techniques included in it. Anyway thank you very much for your attention and again if you're not part of the email list then please go to markplex.com thank you very much